Hey everybody, this is Jamboard, an app by Google that's meant to interface with their Jamboard TV interactive screen, but uh, you can also use the app for free. What's nice is that these Jamboards work like Google Documents in the fact that they can be collaborated upon, shared, and open from anywhere. In the app, you can just add a new Jamboard, or if you're visiting jamboard.google.com, you can create new ones there as well. And as you see, you have this blank canvas to work with. Uh, you can scroll in, in almost infinitely and zoom back out again. You have several different pen types, just straight ink, script ink, it's got a nice little flair to it, highlighter, and paintbrush. There's several colors, and you also have these neat assistive drawing tools, which means you can have three different types. One is text, The other is shapes or straight lines, straight-ish. <laughs> and then you also have the auto draw. So if you're trying to draw a picture of something that you're not a very good artist, that's okay. Uh, you could have it draw it for you. I think so, I was trying to draw a star, sure. We'll keep it like that. And all of these things can be repositioned. You can also use the select tool to select a bunch of things at once and resize them and put them where you need them to be. You can erase or clear the whole screen at once. In addition, you can add a variety of things. Sticky notes. They can be repositioned anywhere images that you can search for on the fly and reposition anywhere, drive content, so you can insert Google documents or PDFs, and you have one-touch access. You can also insert things from the camera on the fly if you're using your iPad. <clears throat> Reposition that anywhere. And you can also add in photos from your image library or a variety of simple stickers. This thing. <clears throat> to add in a new slide, you can add one from the top. Just use the arrow key at the top, or swipe from side to side. You can trash slides, duplicate slides, rearrange slides, and apply backgrounds to slides. Each slide can have its own background, or you can apply a background to all. <clears throat> you can also use this for presenting. There's a, pre there's a highlighter tool that let lets you doodle and it'll erase your doodle as you're writing. Just to call attention to things. And you can use this up on the big screen or from your iPad and project it. You can also have users join your, uh, join your Jamboards and they'll be able to collaborate along with you. When you're all set, if you want to save this to a file, besides the Jamboard file, you can also share this as a PDF or an individual frame as an image. Just like a Google Doc, you can copy the link and share it, turn link sharing on or off, duplicate, or remove it altogether. Again, back on your Jamboards. 
you can have all those options as well. So Google Jamboards can be used by you, the teacher, for presenting, or for the students for presenting, or to have the Google Jamboards uh, used for creative purposes and planning purposes, demoing and prototyping, and then shared with you, the teacher. If you have any questions, feel free to email me at robert.petito at robert.edu.